what's up guys, RG here, and we're at the 2022 Motorcycle Live Exhibition at the NEC in Birmingham. We're going to take you for a little walk around our stand, show you what we've got going on. We're also going to take a look at what else is going on this year at Motorcycle Live. So let's get into it. So this year at Motorcycle Live, we're doing things a little bit differently. Last year we had tons of helmets for sale, loads of stock for you to come and try, and also buy and take away on the same day. Now we're not doing that this year. We wanted to focus more on product development and uh, talking about our products and really giving you guys good quality conversation and engagement with us whilst we're here at Motorcycle Live. We've still got all the helmets that you can see behind me for you to come and see in person. We've got a full try on samples each size for you to come and try one on and feel what a rock feels like on your head. We've also got a custom motorcycles from Limitless Customs in Manchester so shout out to those guys and uh, yeah we've got a ton of Rion development stuff on the other side which I'll show you now. So now on the stand we have things like this which is a Rook Atlas 4.0 cut in half to show you all of the inside EPS, the Rion headliner and all that kind of good stuff. We've also got one of the ECE 2206 helmets that was used for the certification method. So you've got all the touch points on there that we test for, and you can come and speak to us and ask us any questions about all of that kind of good stuff. Now this is getting a lot of love. The Limitless Customs Ruach Lucid Waves Harley Davidson 48. Absolutely awesome. Probably my personally favorite bike at the show, but people tell me I'm being biased. But yeah, this is getting so much attention, uh, especially when we put the Lucid Wave helmet on it, which we'll probably put in some B-roll now. <laughs> Of course, we've got one of each size in the Atlas 4.0 for you guys to come and try on, get that fit, get that feel, speak to the members of the teams, any questions. So if you've never seen a Rock before or you want to try it on before you buy it, any of that, come down to see us and we'll get you sorted. So that's enough from me and the Rock stand. Let's take a walk around the motorcycle show with a special guest to see what's going down. So as I previously mentioned, we are here with special guest, me and Blockhead. So we're going to take a walk around the show have a, have a look at what, uh, what a few things. We've got a King of the Baggers bike at Harley Davidson, which is going to be really cool to check out. I'm going to hand the microphone over to Blockhead and we're going to follow him around so he can get some running commentary. These people are bored of me. We're going to walk around with you, get some opinions on some bikes and see some stuff. And I don't know what to there. say. I, yeah, you just wing it. It's Let fine. me hear your best ye. Let's go. <laughs> The guy's name is Jody from the UK. Stop putting it so close. It's on my face. The world's fastest barber, like he's teamed up with loads of people, like KNN Filters teamed up with him on this. So really, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's like 300 brakes, so he's, it's obviously. How do, you, how do you stay on that with that seat? You have to ask Jody. He's the only one who rides it, I think, but. You gotta wear Velcro pants. Yeah. Dude, that seat's not gonna hold you on with 300. No. I'm, I'm running like 151 and. Falling. Yeah. yeah. He did a burnout at a show we were at the other day and uh, the tires he had had like uh, steel in yeah. and as the burnout he, he popped the tire it was like slashed all the seat oh, and shit. it was going up his back and he was like shredded from the thing and he was like full scent it was sick but yeah it's uh takes lashing to a new meaning <laughs> So outside the Harley Davidson stand, hopefully feels a little bit more like home to you now. Yeah. How does this show, uh, being in the UK and the, the way it's all set out, and just walking around and getting a feel for it, how does it, does it feel different to like stuff you get back in the US? Yeah, you know, it's a pretty nice turnout for a motorcycle convention. Um, it's a good amount of vendors here and it's uh, walking around, it's, it's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> Didn't really answer the question at all. No, it's actually a really nice turnout, man. Um, Are you surprised by the scale? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't know what to expect, obviously, coming into it. Um, it's funny, like, you know, coming all the way from the U.S. and working closely with Harley-Davidson, coming to the U.K. and being here at Harley-Davidson. I think the last thing I saw on this scale was, like, pre-COVID in the yeah. U.S. for AIM Expo. So it's it's nice to kind of see, you know, the community over here, the turnout that's here. I mean, there's a lot of people here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's really nice to see, like, the, the level of support for the industry. Uh, yep. over here in the UK. So we're on the Harley stand. Uh, we're just going to have a quick chat with Blockhead and Dave Hopkinson, who is the one of the engineers on the performance racing bagger. Find out more about the bike, about the scene, what's coming up next year. And uh, yeah, let's roll straight into it. There was a guy that 
turned up at Road, at Road Atlanta and he was a brand new R1M, rolled up, you know, like they do, expert level and all the rest of it. Yeah. Carl went round the outside of him and then left him down the hill, <laughs> gone. I think he went home and sold his bike. Yeah. <laughs> What's like one of the um, like the big preconceptions people come here? Obviously, first glance you just see a bagger, and then when you like take it in, you see actually everything on the bike. Yeah. What's like one of the, the one of the preconceptions people have in seeing this bike, and and you saying you know we we've, we've got the king of the bagger series, and we're you know legit legitimate racing motorcycle. What's one of the first things people come back and say? They usually, if they don't know about it, uh, they'll walk up and go, "What the." And hell is that thing parked up there? Is it a drag bike? Is it something else? Or is it just, no, I'm like, no, it's a race bike. They go, oh. yeah, they don't yeah. believe a word you say. You explain to them, you start to say what it's capable of, what it's done, show them a couple of pictures in the video, and they are blown away. Yeah. I've had some guys turn them, what the fuck? And they hate the thing. However, they walk away thinking it's incredible. Yeah. What's the weight on it? 283 kilos, 625. It's like soft tail. Yeah. Soft tail level. Yeah. Sportster level almost. Yeah. yeah She's wow. much, much lighter than expected. Big 2.1 litre motor, uh, when she thumps away, she's loud. Yeah. She's incredibly loud. Well, it's been a pleasure chatting to you and being able to catch thank up with you. you and uh, thank you for your time for talking no to us, man. I'm sure you've had like the same conversations with a lot of people no, the I, last, I the last don't eight, mind. nine days. So, no, yeah. it's, been, uh, it's been good to catch up with you. And, so are you travelling back with the bike after the show? Yeah, she, she gets crated up Sunday night and she's off back to the States. She's actually taking up residence in the museum. Oh, cool. So she'll be, she'll be living there from now. So that is Motorcycle Live 2022 here in the NEC Arena in Birmingham. Uh, thanks for joining us as we walked and talked all of the latest and greatest that the bike uh, scene has to offer. Let's see if Blockhead has anything to add. Anything to say? I could not have said it better myself. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.